So by the end of the last video, we were left with something like this. Um, we had split up each of our each of the items in our expression, and we were ready to uh, parse them and evaluate them. But uh, there's actually a far better way to do it than uh, doing it ourselves, because Python already has a built-in function uh, that allows you to do this. So we can get rid of everything in this function, and all we have to do is use the eval function, which is built into Python. So uh, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to open the Python interp or the Python uh, shell, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to type in uh, eval, and I'm just going to give it a string. So if I give it the number ten, it returns ten, and if I say ten plus three, as you can see, it gives thirteen. So it returns uh, the evaluated uh, expression. So we're going to use that instead of doing it ourselves because doing it ourselves takes ages and it's difficult to do right. So we're just going to use Python's. So I'm going to exit uh, the interpreter and I'm just going to go here and the way we're going to do it is uh, we instead of just typing in eval expr um, that would evaluate it but we wouldn't be able to store it anywhere because we didn't assign it to a variable. But uh, instead of assigning it to a variable and returning it I'm just going to return eval expr and what this will do whenever we run the eval expression function what it will do is it will take the expression we give it and it will pass it to the eval function and return uh, the re return the return value of the eval function, which is the result of the expression. So if I uh, go over back here, we can see we have this expression, and uh, what we expect to come out of this is uh, 18. So if I go over here and I, and I run uh, our script, as you can see, it, it gives us 18. So it knows about um, precedence and it knows the order uh, to do the operations. I can also do something like this. I can put uh, brackets in it, and as you can see, what it did that time was it did 10 plus 2 first, and multiplied uh, 12 by 4, which gave us 48. So uh, using this function within Python, we can evaluate um, any kind of expression, and we don't actually have to do any of it ourselves. We can just pass it all off to Python. That's one of the benefits of doing it in Python. Um, I remember I said that uh, doing it in Python has its disadvantages. Uh, because of things like speed, because it has to run inside the Python interpreter. But one of the advantages of doing it in Python is we get um, things like expression evaluators for free. So that's it for this video. Don't forget to like, comment, favorite, and subscribe. And also follow us on Google+. And I'll see you next time.